Hello there, hello there. It's uh, LOL Real Manga here, here to show you how comic works. And um, let's just get started. Comic works, as you can tell, I have two folders here that say comic works. I have one already open right here. Um, it works a little differently on Vista and upwards on uh, computer networks, so you got to be um, a little shifty eyes on this. Say you download it and you don't know how to open it or whatever, well, just find the, the folder or whatever you downloaded that says Comic Works. Don't, never mind the two, that's just something I have. <laughs> and, um, find the cat head, click on it, never mind that, just run it, and you will now have a program that says everything right here. Ha ha! And, uh, yeah, if you ever want to make a new page, go to File, New, and they have the templates right here. You have the choice of putting it on different DPIs. I have it right here for the Dodingy page because that's what I prefer and that's what I've worked with. And uh, let's just, for goodness sake, just open it up. Not sure if you could tell, but they have these border lines right here. So they have the live, <laughs> not so live, and the dead area. And this is just for measurement, I presume. You have the whole thing right there in front of you. Um, so it's just like as if you were to go to uh, buy something online, delete or paper, and it will have this. Uh, let's just click out of that sucker. I'll show you more options and the templates. I don't even know. Graphic paper? Okay. Oh, I already showed you the new paper. This is name paper, so I guess like storyboard pen and paper. Which is kind of nifty too. It's like the same thing almost. I think this is supposed to be for like colored paper. Oh no, this is for. <laughs> See, I haven't really used Deleter com Comic Work templates, but this is for the color pages, I would assume. And this is for B B5 color. You have the 4COM thing in here. So if you need 4COM, there you go. And actually, they actually have a, a thing where you could actually... I don't know why I keep saying actually. Never mind me. <laughs> um, where you could actually... Shoot me now. <laughs> where you can make your own um, measurements and stuff to the page you'd like. Um to ratio so you don't have to go back and keep fooling around with it. They have these formatted things right here. I don't know what they do exactly. Shows you how much I know and I'm telling you how to do stuff. Well, I'm not telling you. I'm just showing you how, what Comic Works does. So, blah. Uh, let's just click OK. It has, like, no measurements. Uh, I always put the, the grid line on, on my um, Comic Works. I'm not sure if you could see it, but this is the grid right here. And with my comic works, I always put the grid line on because it makes me feel more official. <laughs> um, there's a way to turn it off, though. See, view, show, no grid lines, see? Uh, but I like those suckers on, so I'm going to sh show them on. Because it gives you a nice, perfect, even line. It's pretty nice. Also, it's really nice when you um, do, like, what do you call it? Perspective and stuff. So, also very awesome and useful. Let's get down to actually getting a page on here, shall we? Oh, I already showed you that. I'm going to be working on one of my pages for uh, my webcomic, Star the World Stop Star. And when you drag and drop it in here, you could also do the whole file, new, whatever. I prefer not to do that because drag and dropping is just too easy. You will have this window pop up. I like to make it full, but you have the full option here of the levels, grain, and uh, what kind of creation system style you want. Um, right here, it'll show you the resolution as default, but if you scanned it in at 300 DPI, it will stay 300 DPI. So just a word of warning, I mean, Common Works can only do so much for you when you <laughs> want to go into print. Um, let's put the sucker in full mode, and I like to find a place in the page where I know I'm either missing some lines or it just looks too thin. This looks all right. And I'll show you. This is the grain right here. It makes it if you the further you go this way, it's going to be you know the further you go this way, it's going to be darker. I prefer not to mess around with the grain too too much. 
So we're just going to put that back on even. And I like to mess with levels, though. It, it works almost the same as grain, but a little bit better, I, I think. So I like to keep my lines really dark. So I like to go a little bit up this way. I like to go back and check the pages, what will need cleaning. Because, uh, sure enough, if you go more darker, you're going to get a lot more pencil lines shown. There we go. That's perfect. So I'm going to be erasing all this, all that. Yeah, also, the other awesome thing about comic works, there's also a, a little thing where you can invert it. So it will make things easier if you have kind of like a dark-ish kind of page nightmare going on in there and you can just throw that in there and be like, yeah, I, I, I did that on purpose, so it makes you waste less ink. Huzzah, computers! Um, I guess I'll, right now I'll show you how um, the other, th well, I'm going to just save this for right now, but I'll show you how the creation system works too while we're at it. Uh, make sure that these are alright, these are alright, click OK. Now then, excuse me, I'll show you uh, how those other things work, shall we? This is just to get started. Can't really zoom in and out, so I just, ooh. Alrighty. So we, the <laughs> creation system, um, always use um, threesome hole 50%. I think that's how it is. You can't really go down percent or anything like that or... Whatever, but it's it's a it's a pretty good thing. It makes the lines all jaggedy. Not sure if you could see that, but I mean, with Comet Works, they look kind of really jaggedy. Never mind that, because when you go into print, or if you go into print, it's going to look really super smooth. And uh, when you make them smaller in Photoshop, it'll make it uber super smooth. So uh, let's get down to Air Diffusion. Click OK. Let's see what that does. Everything looks the same, but. You will get these lines right here. I recommend doing the this mode. I'm gonna just call them modes now. Uh, when doing color works and when you um, import them into Comet Works here, let me see if I can find a colored work and I'll show you what I mean. Never mind my stuff. Let's see here, colored work. Ah, that's pretty colored. Drag and drop this sucker. And this is how it looks when it's colored. When, well, a colored work dragged into Comic Works. Uh, you can also mess with it, make it darker, make it lighter. And that's only with uh, the color diffusion. If you do it with that, it's going to make it look it like, look it like, never mind me and how I say things. Um, it's going to make it look like that. You could do either or. Um... Yeah, um, I only use the dattered pattern, by the way, to um, only go back and ink things in Comic Works. Um, it makes it much more easier. Um, half tone, half tone is horrible. Um, I only use it for super awesome super effects, um, but I'll show you why right, right now, actually. Um, so I'm just going to click OK on that. And this button will pop up for half tone. Uh, this would be the number of uh, lines. We're going to go with 40 because I think less is more in this circumstance. And you want it, the shading to be whatever your heart desires. So I'm just going to be crazy because this means nothing to me. Click shading, um, 0 degrees, and then click OK. And this is how it looks. Yeah, very dotty, isn't it? So that's basically what halftone does to your page. Any page. I'll show you more stuff. Ooh, go, go away. Go. There we go. Um. <laughs> haven't showed you exactly what they all do. Where is it? I am so organized on my computer. It's insane. Not really. So we already did half tone. Uh, let's go to. I already showed you air diffusion. And let's go to data. Yeah, 
uh, I'm messing around with things now. Hmm. But I'm just showing you how um, when you drag your work in there and how you want it, this will be how it is. See how it's kind of fuzzy? But when you go and you ink it, you can see it better in Comic Works. See, there's no color in um, the uh, English edition of Comic Works, I believe. Although, uh, Comic Works... I, well, I had... Um, asked a question on comic works and they said it works though but uh I don't know I'll have to go back and ask them but I, I hate I hate asking for things blah alrighty so we got our page in the uh stage we want let's just say for goodness sakes uh I would usually go back and clean this page but uh I would say I want it into a a template to make it easier where to find the lines and all that stuff when I'm actually working on the page you find a professional oh, scale because I'm a professional of course click OK. Sorry for the way I'm talking <laughs> just thought it'd be funny you click you go back to the page that you want onto the template click select all copy all pretty basic stuff Go to the page you want it on, which is the professional, and click paste. And that will get your page onto here. Ooh, unfortunately this page is too big, so what we're going to do is delete that sucker. Go back to open new. Oh wait, that is, ah ha ha. I'm going to go to, since this is for print, I'm going to go to the size paper, dodingy paper. I think that is mainly what the size I'm going for, or what I normally buy. Again, this will turn out okay for print, I believe. And paste. There we go. That's much better into size. And just find place you want your sucker to be. Make sure none of the lines are in the live or dead area. Ooh, some things are going to be cut off, so that's where you're going to make a new panel line. Everything's in the live or dead area, and we're good and fine. This is going to be cut off, and all the other good stuff. I prefer to actually um, input the page after I'm done inking and toning everything, but this is just to show you if you want to leg up on how to do things, see like how that would be lift off the page or whatever. But that's just how I do things. <laughs> Alrighty. And that's how to get started and importing your work into Comic Works. Sorry for the noise again. So I will see you guys in a bit and how to actually clean a page slash panel and uh, probably slash whatever else comes to mind. <laughs> uh, so. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.